things that Hey guy, whose birthday is it today? Mommy's! So today we're gonna be baking her a cake. So usually I do cooking shows and I don't really do much of the baking. Usually Kim does the baking, but since it's her birthday, we're making her a cake. And so I'm probably gonna need some help. So who do you think is gonna help me? You! Who? Me, 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 me. Yes, you. So we're gonna be making a chocolate cola cake with a chocolate cola buttercream. That doesn't sound good. You've got no taste. So, for the cake part, we're going to need the following ingredients. Pam. 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 Flour. What? Flour. Look at me and say it. What? Flour. Flour. Granulated sugar. What type of sugar? Granulated sugar. Granulated sugar? Yeah. Dark brown sugar. What? Dark brown sugar. Dark brown sugar? Party started. We're going to turn on the oven and we're going to preheat it to 350. Next step is we're going to do what, guy? Speed up here with Pam. Go for it. How about I help you out with that? So, step next part we're going to take two cups of the flour. One cup of the granulated sugar, one cup of the dark brown sugar, and one uh, teaspoon of salt. We're going to put it in our mixer here. So here we go. There's the salt. Or the sugar, I mean. There's the flour. The brown sugar, and... Oh, yep, and then... The, the salt that we just dropped. <laughs> So now we have our whisk attachment to our KitchenAid mixer. We're going to make sure it's locked in, and we're going to start letting it whisk around. We're going to let that go on for a little bit while we work on other stuff. Next part is we're going to get our two sticks of butter, our one-fourth cup of cocoa, and our one cup of soda, which actually works out to be one of the mini cans. We're going to put that into a small pot, and we're going to uh, mix it together. All right, we got the butter in. We're now gonna put in our cocoa. And then we're going to put in our cup of soda in here. And we're going to mix this smooth on medium to high heat until this is nice and smooth. While that is doing its thing, we're going to take the buttermilk. We're gonna take about a half cup of buttermilk I'm going to put that in a bowl here. I'll let that be right there. And then we're going to take one teaspoon of the baking soda. We're just going to let that dissolve and probably clean that up and get some more in there too. So you have just one teaspoon in the buttermilk. All right, now this is super smooth. Oh, look at that. We're going to take this off of the heat and we're going to put this into there. All right, at a certain point, once it starts boiling, it'll get a little bit higher and higher. So I took that off just in time, and we're going to pour this right into the mix. Ooh. All right, put that in there. Now we're going to put this down. Lock it in. And stir. Now we're going to let that keep going until it gets smooth. Ooh, that's getting, it's getting real smooth. So remember the buttercream and the baking soda? We're now gonna put that into here as well. Let it mix. All right, what are you gonna do with that egg?
help. There you got it. Okay. <laughs> Good thing we have more eggs. <laughs> yep. So you're gonna take two eggs and you're gonna put them into the mixture without the shells. You're also going to take one teaspoon of the vanilla extract. You're going to put that in as well, and then you're going to whisk it all together. All right, so now we have all this mixed together. Ooh, yummy. Let that drip a little bit more. But then we're going to put this entire mixture, and we're going to put it in the pan that's covered with Pam. Oh, it's heavy. I'm just going to just... Oh. Is this how they do it in the Food Network? I just kind of show all of it. When I get the rest of that stuff, I'll probably use a rubber spatula, so I'm going to need two hands for that part. All right, so we have our oven at 350. We have that all laid out like that. We're going to put this in the oven. Oh, that's hot. Put it in for... 40, 40 to 45 minutes. That's how long it's going to be in there. Uh, 40 minutes has passed, and we checked the cake, and it is good. So we have it out on a little cooling rack here, and we're going to let it cool for about an hour. All right, so now we're going to work on the frosting. We're going to need a stick and a half of butter. We're going to need two cups of powdered sugar. And we're going to sift that. You're going to need a half cup of the cocoa. That's going to be sifted as well, and you're going to need a fourth cup of some soda pop. So while Kim is going to be over there talking to her sister and beating the butter into a pulp, I guess, uh, we're going to sift the powdered sugar and the cocoa. So we have two cups of powdered sugar and the half cup of cocoa. We're going to sift it using one of these bad boys. So now we're going to take the coke and we're going to put that in the mix with the butter. Then we're going to put the sifted cocoa. We're going to put it in there too. Then we're going to beat it on low. on low. You want to make sure it gets smooth and you want to really scrape the sides so it gets all mixed together. Mm. Now we're going to take the powdered sugar and we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it one cup at a time. Like so. And we're going to put that in. And we're going to mix it so it's smooth. Scrape and repeat. So now we're scraping and we're going to mix it some more. If you don't have your own taste tester, store-bought is fine, too. Mmm, look at that deliciousness. Now we're gonna take a spatula, we're gonna spread it on. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make a chocolate cola cake. Tune in next time when I make a 24-karat macaroon on a budget. Mm.